my god! You've found the Sega Holic. This is episode 82, the definitive how to rip and burn Sega CD games guide. This is the software I used in this video. All these programs are free or their trial versions are functional enough. So if your games are still in pretty cherry condition and you don't want to mess with them because you know the cases are pretty fragile, then you definitely need to back them up. I'll also show you how to region patch your Japanese Mega CD games so you can play them on your US console. Here's a good idea, use acid free comic backing cut to size, keep your manuals straight and keep them from warping. Years back I did the region patch but I forgot how so luckily I found Greg's website and go check out his YouTube channel. First off we're going to be doing a simple rip with clone CD. Most ripping snobs like to use clone CD because they say it rips one to one backups. Clone CD's native file formats are IMG, SUB and CCD with CCD being the metadata information on how to burn the CD similar to Q files. Saving the Q file is optional, but you shouldn't need them as most burning programs and all support CCD files. All burning will be done with image burn as it supports all major file formats and it's free. Try to use medium to good quality CDs as the cheaper ones won't work. Obviously the great thing about the Sega CD is that it doesn't have copy protection but what it does have is region protection and we'll address that later. Obviously you can use image burn to rip your games and its native file format is bin and queue. I also had alcohol installed years ago but just make sure you use the PlayStation option. Its native file formats are MDF and MDS. Off camera, I ripped the import version of Final Fight CD with Clone CD. Use a CCD file to mount the image as a disk with virtual clone drive. Magic ISO Maker will mount the image as a disk with both the CCD or the Q file. We can go ahead and eject one of them. With the import Final Fight CD disc virtually mounted, we can use Windows Media Player to rip the audio to lossless WAV files. Move the audio files to some place where you can find them easily. Here I'm just checking to see if the image is still mounted. With the image still mounted, we can use Win ISO Maker to rip the data track as an ISO.
using the CCD or Q file mounts the image as an audio CD. But if you mount the IMG image file directly, it will mount as a data CD. Using Magic ISO Maker again, you will not need to select the data track as there are no audio tracks. Alternatively, you can use WinISO to save the file as an ISO format. Let's unmount the virtual data disk and remount the virtual game disk with Redbook Audio. Using WinISO to rip the ISO from a virtual game disk is still the same. I compared the ISO files ripped by WinISO and Magic ISO and they're all the same size. We can now use convert SED to region patch the ISO file. Let's make sure you use version 110. Also type exactly the name of the file. The reason why we need to take all these steps is because convert SCD only works with the data track extracted as an ISO. You can put the converted ISO file back into the folder with the audio files. Now use Sega QMaker to make a Q sheet. Just point the program to where the audio and data files are at. Put the Q sheet into the folder with all the other files. You can now burn your game with the Q sheet. So I think I found a better way to patch a Mega CD import game. Drag and drop either the CCD or Q file into ISO Buster. ISO Buster can extract the data as well as the audio files. Highlight all the files in the main window, right click and choose to extract. Now create a destination folder. We can again use convert SCD to region patch our newly extracted ISO. Use Sega QMaker like we used previously.
This time we're going to be using alcohol 120% to mount a newly region patched ISO. Use the cue sheet to mount this as a virtual CD. For some reason, virtual clone drive nor magic ISO will mount the image with this cue file. As an extra step, we can use image burn to rip the virtually mounted CD. You can then burn the resulting bin and queue file and then play this import game on your domestic console. We took the extra step to convert the extracted ISO and WAV files to bin and Q because I want to apply a color hack patch. And Pyron's color hack patch needs a bin file. To apply the patch to the bin file, we're going to be using Win IPS. This zip file contains the IPS patch. Finally, you can burn the region and color hack patched image to disk. Well, that's it. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.